Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on Friedman's ANOVA. Friedman's ANOVA is the non-parametric equivalent to a one-way repeated measures ANOVA. So this test can be used in some instances where we don't meet the assumptions for a one-way repeated measures ANOVA. For example, if the data is ordinal. So switching to the variable view of this uh, SPSS data file I have here, you can see that I have a participant ID and then three tests, a post-test, a pre-test, a post-test, and a post-test at 12 weeks, and all three are ordinal. So in this instance, we could use a Friedman's ANOVA to analyze this data. So let's say we have here 90 participants and we are giving them a pretest that measures the severity of depressive symptoms. And then immediately after a treatment, we're giving them a post test. But say in this particular treatment, there is a psychoeducational component. And we believe that as time goes on, the improvements will continue. So the severity of depressive symptoms will lessen, they'll decrease. And we have another variable, post-test 12, which is a post-test that's given to the participants 12 weeks after the initial post-test. So this data is ordinal. This would be Likert scales. So a zero would represent the lowest severity of depressive symptoms, and a five would represent the highest severity of depressive symptoms. So this would be a six point Likert scale, zero through five. So to analyze this data using Friedman's ANOVA, we'll go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests, Legacy Dialogues, and then K-Related Samples. So we have this uh, list box over here, Test Variables. We're simply going to move pretest post-test and post-test 12 weeks over into this list box for statistics. We're going to select descriptive. And by default, Friedman as a test type is already checked off. So click OK. And you can see here that you have the uh, 90 samples for each, the, for each of the variables. And then it gives you the mean and the standard deviation and the minimum and maximum scores. Also gives you the mean rank for each of the three variables. And down here, at the very bottom, the Friedman test, you can see that we have statistical significance, 0 0.022, and our cutoff would be 0 0.05. So 0 0.022 is below 0 0.05. So we would reject the null hypothesis that the distributions of these three variables are equal. Now, just like in a ANOVA, in the Friedman's test, we need to administer post hoc tests to see where the difference is. Now, we can get an idea from this descriptive data and from the ranks, but we really don't know where the difference is until we do the post hoc tests. So in this instance, we're going to want to run a post hoc test to test the difference between pretest and post test, pretest and post test 12, and post test and post test 12. And we'll do a Bonferroni correction. So we'll divide the 0 0.05 by 3, and we'll reset the alpha at about 0 0.017. So go to Analyze, Non-Parametrics uh, Test, Legacy Dialogues, and two related samples. This will be a Wilcoxon test. So first we'll test the pretest and the post-test. And we will select Descriptive and click OK. 
So you can see here there was a decrease from the pretest to the post-test in the mean, and there were more negative ranks than positive ranks, meaning the post-test was less than the pretest 35 times, but the post-test was greater than the pretest 25 times, and there were 30 ties. And we do not have statistical significance here. The significance was 0.221. And, of course, we're using the Bonferroni correction, which would be about 0 0.017. So we would accept the null hypothesis in this case, pretest compared to post-test. So we'll go to Analyze, Nonparametric, and back to two related samples. And we'll leave the pretest in. We'll move post-test out, and we'll put post-test 12 weeks in. And we'll take a look at the results here. You see a, a greater difference between the means of pretest and pretest and uh, post-test 12 weeks. 38 negative ranks and 18 positive ranks, 34 ties. And even with the Bonferroni correction, uh, we do have statistical significance here. 0 0.002 is less than 0 0.017. So there's a statistically significant difference between the pretest scores and the post-test 12-week scores. So that leaves us with one post-hoc test remaining. We'll go back to two related samples. In this case, we will remove the pretest. We'll leave the post-test 12 weeks in variable 2, and we'll move the post-test to variable 1. And click OK. And you can see there is uh, a difference here. There is a decrease here. We have 16 negative ranks and 10 positive ranks and 64 ties. And the significance is 0 0.028. And remember, the Bonferroni correction is 0 0.017, so we do not have statistical significance in this case because 0 0.028 is greater than 0 0.017, so we would accept the null hypothesis in this case. So that leaves us with the only statistically significant difference being between the pretest and the post-test 12 weeks. I hope you found this video on Friedman's ANOVA to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.